Mary Ann. Today, I am so very excited to marry you. The past five and a half years have been very special, and I know that I have found the right one. Andrew, I have been in love with you since I was 18 years old. Five years, two dogs, three states have gotten us to this special day, and we've made some amazing memories along the way. It hasn't always been easy, but I hope it never is. I remember the first time we met. I was eating two bananas, and I was mean. At that point, I never would have imagined that we would be getting married. You have challenged me in the best way since the day I met you, and you have helped me become the best version of myself. You balance me, complete me, support me, and love me always, but most importantly, you are my best friend. You have really taught me through the years to one, be calm, to be more insightful, and to just be more relaxed. And that's exactly how I want today to go, and how I want you to feel as well. We, am, we have been through ups, downs, and we've been through all arounds throughout our relationship. But I know that you will always be by my side, and I will always be there for you. You've loved me when, I've had, when I haven't deserved it, picked me up when I fell, and have been a light through every dark time. Even when you're down and don't know how amazing you are, I promise to love you and remind you constantly how great you are. Some of the best moments I have had with you are meeting at Otterbein, getting Pearl and Lilo, going to Disney World, and most importantly, getting married today. I promise to pick up the pieces when you need it. I promise to keep challenging you to be the best version of yourself. And I promise to listen. I promise to learn from you. I promise to support your dreams. I promise not to wake you up when you fall asleep past 10 p.m. But most importantly, I promise to love you unconditionally with my whole heart forever. Mary Ann. Today is a happy day and we should make the most out of it and take it slow and it will only happen once. So let's just enjoy being together today. And just know that when you walk down that aisle, these people are not here to judge us, but to share the special moment with us. You are the one. Growing up, people would always say to me, your wife is out there somewhere. You just have to be patient. I never would have thought that it was you, but it was a crazy feeling thinking that you were out there. I just had to wait. I am so happy that I'm with you. You are my home and I feel most comfortable with you. So please, hurry up down that aisle so we can lock those hands and make it official. Marianne, thanks for being that special one. You've grown into really a wonderful young lady. Uh, you've accomplished many, many things, and I am <laughs> deeply proud of you. With that being said, if you'd accomplished nothing and done nothing, I loved you from the day you were born, and I'll love you forever. Andrew, from the moment I met you, I knew you were special for Marianne, and you've exceeded every expectation I have. I've always wanted a son. Welcome to the family. You know, it really has been a privilege to see you both uh, develop as a couple. You were born and bloomed in college together at a time when our friends are going in and out of relationships due to the drama and monotony that is a college relationship. And I think the biggest fight I witnessed these two get in involved Andrew picking up Marianne chicken nuggets and getting barbecue sauce instead of ranch. Yeah, so if there is anyone in the room that still has a shadow of a doubt of this couple's longevity, I can assure you they're already like an 80-year-old couple, so they will be perfectly fine. There are many qualities and attributes of Marianne and Andrew that I both, that I admire, and that I think will set them up for a long and happy life together. But I think the one that I admire the most, and that I think will serve them both extraordinarily well as a married couple, is that no matter what, at the end of every single day, they never stop choosing to love one another, and they never give up on one another, even through Pearl's broken leg. I'm no expert because I've never been married before, but I would say that that's a really solid foundation and a really great waste to start. 
But alas, we are here today, and I think it only speaks to this couple's ability to navigate through bumps in life. It's always a tough time in a bro's life to lose time with his bro to a significant other. But if there is anyone on this planet that I am more than willing to lose my time with Andrew with too, it is to you. Yeah, over these last few years, you truly have become one of my closest friends. Um, I don't know if there's a human being on this planet that I enjoy making fun of other people with and with you. Uh, we truly are the worst people and I wouldn't have it any other way. Um... Andrew and Marianne, your marriage is intended to join you for life in a relationship that is so intimate and personal, it will change your whole being. It offers you the hope and indeed the promise of a love that is true and mature. To attain such love, you'll need to commit yourselves to each other freely and gladly for the sake of a richer and deeper life together. May God be your guide and your help. Well, Andrew and Marianne, this is a very exciting day for both of you. And I want you to know that I can say 40 years into the game that marriage is the best. It is the greatest. There is nothing better to be married to someone you love who loves you. Marriage is truly God's gift to us. You can always come to each other openly and freely, as the passage says, naked and not ashamed, because he promised today to always come to each other in acceptance and not in judgment. God has given you today a lifelong security. So be friends to each other, enjoy each other, accept each other. It'll make you happy make us happy and it will make God happy because he loves you and he wills your good forever. And today he's blessing your love with the gift of marriage. Before God and in the presence of this congregation, Andrew and Marianne have made their solemn vows to each other. And they've confirmed these vows by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, I declare that they are husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. And now, Andrew and Marianne Lynn, as God's own, clothe yourselves with kindness, patience, and compassion, forgiving each other as God has forgiven you and crown all these things with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And may the grace of Christ attend you, may the love of God surround you, and may the Holy Spirit keep you, that you might live in faith, abound in hope, and grow in love this day and forever. Amen. Thank you. that I saw Andrew and Marianne together, and I knew he was going to be the one. There's so much to say of how excited I and happy I am for the both of you. Uh, and how you convinced him to get the two most fragile dogs on this earth is beyond me. And all I know is that he must truly love you to get two of them. Andrew is truly there to balance you out, and every time he is here, I see that he's the level-headed one keeping her calm, 100%. Marianne, I've known you for a little while now, and I am so happy that you came into this family because, frankly, after 20 years, I was getting a little sick of just having Andrew, you know? I needed someone to, to change some things, and you definitely have for the better. <laughs> You're educated, you went to two fine universities, you have wonderful degrees. You've been prepping for this day all of your life. From this point, the two of you are going to head out on the adventures of life. And I'd like you all to join me. Raise your glasses to the marriage of Marianne and Andrew. And may you have many wonderful adventures together every day of your life. Here, here.